a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Will Ferrell John William Ferrell is an American actor, comedian, producer, and writer. He first established himself in the mid-1990s as a cast member on the NBC sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live, and has subsequently starred in comedy films such as Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, Talladega Nights, Step Brothers, The Other Guys, and Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, all but one of which he co-wrote with his comedy partner Adam Mackay. The two also founded the comedy website Funny or Die in 2007. Other film roles include Elf, Old School, Blades of Glory, the animated films Mega Mind and the Lego Movie, and Daddy's Home. Ferrell is considered a member of the Frat Pack, a generation of leading Hollywood comic actors who emerged in the late 1990s and the 2000s, including Jack Black, Ben Stiller, Steve Carell, Vince Vaughn, and brothers Owen and Luke Wilson. He received an Emmy Award nomination for his work on Saturday Night Live, and two Golden Globe Award nominations for The Producers and Stranger Than Fiction. He was also named the Best Comedian of 2015 in the British GQ Men of the Year Awards. Ferrell received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on March 24, 2015. Early Life Ferrell was born in Irvine, California to Betty Kay, a teacher who taught at Old Mill School Elementary School and Santa Ana College, and Roy Lee Ferrell Jr. a musician with the Righteous Brothers. His parents were both natives of Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, and moved to California in 1964. Ferrell's ancestry includes English, German, and Irish. He has a younger brother named Patrick. When he was eight years old, his parents divorced. Ferrell said of the divorce, I was the type of kid who would say, hey, look, at the bright side. We'll have two Christmases. The divorce was amicable and both parents were committed to their children. The biggest problem was his father's line of work. As a person in show business, his paychecks were never steady and he was gone from home months at a time. Growing up in this environment made Ferrell not want to go into show business, but get a steady job. Will first attended school at Culverdale Elementary and later attended Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, both in Irvine, California. He attended University High School in Irvine and was a kicker for the school's varsity football team. He was also on the soccer team and captain of the basketball team, as well as serving on the student council. Ferrell called third grade a pivotal year. He realized he could make his classmates laugh if he pretended to smash his head against the wall, or if he tripped and fell on purpose, and said it was a great way to make friends. He said the dullness of Irving contributed to the growth of his humor. In his senior year of high school, Ferrell and a friend would perform comedy skits over the school's intercom system, with cooperation from the principal. The two had to write their own material. Ferrell also performed comedic skits in the school's talent shows. He won the Best Personality Superlative voted by his classmates. He enrolled at the University of Southern California, where he studied sports broadcasting and joined the Delta Tau Delta fraternity. In college, he was known for a few pranks. On occasion, he would dress in a janitor's outfit and stroll into his friends' classes. He was also known for streaking around campus with a few other people from the Delta Tau Delta fraternity. Ferrell earned an internship at a local television station in the sports department, but he did not enjoy the work. After graduating with a BA degree in sports information in 1990, he knew he did not want to do broadcasting. He took up a job as a hotel valet where, on his second day, he tore a baggage rack off the top of a van by trying to drive it under a low-lying beam. He also worked as a teller at Wells Fargo, but came up short $300 the first day and $280 the second. He was not stealing the money, but was just careless and error-prone. In 1991, encouraged by his mother to pursue something he liked, Ferrell moved to Los Angeles. He successfully auditioned for the comedy group The Groundlings, where he spent time developing his improvisation skills. The Groundlings before joining the Groundlings, Ferrell's attempts at stand-up comedy had little success. He started in the advanced classes and grew to love improvisation. He realized he also liked to impersonate people, and one of his favorites was Harry Karai, the Hall of Fame baseball announcer. Soon he began to create original characters. 
with fellow Groundlings member Chris Cretan. They created the Beauty by Brothers, who go out to dance clubs to try to pick up women, but are constantly rejected. While taking classes, Ferrell got a job at an auction house via his friend Vivica Paulin. The job was ideal as it was flexible enough for him to audition and go to rehearsals while also being employed. He received small roles, including TV series Grace Under Fire and Living Single, low-budget films such as A Bucket of Blood, as well as commercials. One winter, he even served as a mall Santa Claus. Then, in 1994, he won a spot with the top professional group of the Groundlings. Saturday Night Live after SNL's decline in popularity in 1994-1995 and in need of new cast members for the next season, a producer saw the Groundlings and asked Ferrell, Patan, and Sheree Terry to audition for SNL's main producer, Lorne Michaels. Ferrell joined Saturday Night Live in 1995 and left in 2002 after a seven-year tenure. He has returned to host four times. During his time on SNL, Ferrell made a name for himself with his impersonations, which included U.S. President George W. Bush, Chicago Cubs announcer Harry Karai, singer Robert Goulet, singer Neil Diamond, inside the actor's studio host James Lipton, Massachusetts Senator Ted Kennedy, United States Attorney General Janet Reno, convicted Unabomber Ted Kaczynski, game show host Alex Trebek, fictitious private detective Shaft, professional wrestler Jesse Ventura, U.S. Vice President Al Gore, Iraqi President Saddam Hussein, and Cuban President Fidel Castro. His original characters included Morning Latte co-host Tom Wilkins, Ed the Horse's twin brother Ned, fictional Blue Oyster cult member Jean Frankel, music teacher Marty Culp, Spartan cheerleader Craig Buchanan, Dale Sturtevant, from Dissing Your Dog, Hank of the Bill Brasky Buddies, David Leary from Dog Show, and nightclubber Steve Buteby in a sketch that was turned into a feature film in 1998's A Night at the Roxbury. Ferrell became the highest paid cast member of Saturday Night Live in 2001 with a season salary of $350,000. Ferrell returned to Saturday Night Live as a guest host on May 14, 2005. May 16, 2009. May 12, 2012. And January 27, 2018. For the first two hosting appearances, he reprised his role as Alex Trebek in the Celebrity Jeopardy! sketches. On the May 14 appearance, Ferrell reprised his role as Robert Goulet in a fake commercial advertising a series of ringtones and, during the performance of the song, Little Sister, by musical guests Queens of the Stone Age, Ferrell came on stage playing the cowbell, in a 2014 poll taken as part of a commemorative SNL feature on Grantland. Ferrell was voted the best Saturday Night Live cast member of all time. On December 12, 2015, Ferrell appeared in the cold open of the show in character as George W. Bush. He reprised this role when he returned as host in 2018. Film career During his time on Saturday Night Live, Ferrell appeared in several movies, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, A Night at the Roxbury, Superstar, The Ladies' Man, Dick, Drowning Mona, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, Jay, and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Zoolander. His first starring role after his departure from SNL was as Frank, the Tank, Richard in Old School. The film belongs to Mr. Ferrell, declared the New York Times, which described how he uses his hilarious, anxious zealotry to sell the part. Old School was a major success, and Ferrell received an MTV Movie Awards nomination for Best Comedic Performance. The title role in Elf followed, as did another MTV Movie Awards nomination. Ferrell continued to land comedy roles in 2004 and 2005 in films such as Melinda and Melinda, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, Starsky and Hutch earning himself a place among Hollywood's frat pack. In 2005, Ferrell learned. In 2006, Ferrell starred in Stranger Than Fiction and Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Both received critical and box office success. Ferrell's performance in Stranger Than Fiction introduced audiences to the dramatic potential of Ferrell's acting talents, while Talladega Nights was his highest grossing live action opening as of 2010 at $47 million. On 2006, 
The magazine named Ferrell as one of its three Actors of the Year in their 2006 Year in Review issue. A sequel to Anchorman, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, was released in 2013. In 2008, Ferrell starred in the movie Step Brothers with John C. Reilly. It was directed by frequent Ferrell collaborator Adam McKay, who was also a co-writer of the movie. The movie earned $128 million worldwide. Ferrell appeared as part of a pre-game video package for the Rose Bowl along with Texas alum Matthew McConaughey. Ferrell also sang a song at the Aspire Awards in 2006 about Lance Armstrong and Neil Armstrong. He and John C. Riley also did a spot during the 2008 Aspire Awards, where they made demands in order for them to appear at the Aspires like asking Portland Trail Blazers Santo Greg Oden to tuck them in at night and tell them stories of the old times or to bring back the Cold War so the Olympics can be interesting again. Ferrell participated in a 79th Academy Awards musical comedy performance with John C. Riley and Jack Black wherein they sang a song about comedies being snubbed by the voters in favor of dramas. In May 2009, it was announced that Ferrell was in talks to star in Neighborhood Watch, a comedy about an urbanite who moves to the suburbs and uncovers a conspiracy. In negotiations to direct was David Dobkin, who gave Ferrell a cameo in Wedding Crashes. In August 2009, Ferrell decided not to do the film. In June 2009, Land of the Lost was released. It was a commercial and critical flop after earning on opening weekend, about two-thirds of what the studio expected. In 2010, he was the executive producer and star of The Other Guys, a buddy cop film, which also has an ensemble cast which consists of Mark Wahlberg, Eva Mendes, Michael Keaton, Steve Coogan, Ray Stevenson, Samuel L. Jackson, and Dwayne Johnson. Unlike Land of the Lost, the film was a commercial success, earning over $140 million, and was positively reviewed by critics. Ferrell appeared in the 2011 video for Make Some Noise by the Beastie Boys, in the front of a limo, playing a cowbell. He stars in Casada Mi Padre, a telenovela spoof comedy set in a ranch with Mexican stars Diego Luna and Gael Garcia Bernal. The movie is told in melodramatic telenovela form and features English-language subtitles. He starred alongside Zach Galifianakis in the 2012 political comedy The Campaign, which garnered mediocre reviews, and grossed $104 million against a budget of $95 million. Also in 2012, he appeared in the comedy Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie, and starred as Armando Alvarez in the Spanish-language comedy Casada Mi Padre, which was directed by frequent collaborator Matt Piedmont, Ferrell, and Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith, who have had a long-running joke feud over how both look like each other, appeared on the May 22, 2014 episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon for a charity drum-off battle. Despite Smith clearly giving the better performance, Ferrell was named the winner and awarded a giant gold cowbell. Both were joined by Smith's Chili Peppers bandmates for a performance of Don't Fear the Reaper, with Ferrell playing Cowbell. On June 10, 2014, Ferrell and Smith challenged Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich to a drum off, with Ferrell saying Ulrich looks eerily similar to the two of them. Ulrich accepted the challenge two days later. In 2015, he starred in the buddy comedy Get Hard and the comedy Daddy's Home, with the latter reuniting him the other guy's co-star Mark Wahlberg. He reprised his role, Jacobi Mugatu, in the Zoolander sequel, Zoolander 2. His more recent film projects include the comedy drama Zeroville, based on the novel of the same name, and portraying director Russ Meyer in Russ and Roger Go Beyond a comedic biopic documenting the making of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which was written by film critic Roger Ebert. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?